Hello, and welcome to this Eurolean Plus lecture series on the design of work cells. This lecture will cover how product family groups can be created. In this section, we will determine how to create cells and how to configure them. So cells are the first level grouping of individual machines and afterwards we will use the cells or departments to create a full layout of a building. There are different approaches to creating cells, but the main approach is to the main approach is to group products that need to be produced into families such that each family can be produced fully within one or a few cells. This means that we have to take into account the characteristics of the product to determine how to fit them together. One element is that we look at the similarities of the products themselves, meaning that we look at the yearly part usage per product, also look at the variety of parts that go into finished products, and from that identify common products that use the same parts and have more or less the same level of usage. A second criterion which is very often used is to look at the machines used to produce the products within the family. So for each product we look at which processes are needed and which machines are needed to perform these processes. We look also at the sequence and once we have a grouping we should also identify which of the machines presents which of the machines is the bottleneck since we will see that the capacity of a cell is an important decision. A third common approach is to look at overall demand of the products and segregate the products into the high volume ones or high runners and the low volume ones or low runners and this is called a PQ analysis. P for product, Q for quantity. And finally we can look at machine capabilities if there are products that have special requirements like precision or very special tooling, we will try to group them together so as to minimize the investment needed in these special machines. After we have selected one or more criteria, we can now try to group the products into families. And once we have the families, we will have the cells with which we can then make a full layout. Thank you for watching this video on product family grouping. Please join us in the next video where we will discuss layout planning and methods. To learn more about other lean techniques for customized manufacturing, please visit euroleanplus.org.